Gerald Singer here. You may notice a few things that are new and really different. How about the fact that I got myself a Fortnite poster? Fun fact, I won 26 times as of this video when playing Fortnite since September of 2019. But that's not the only thing that is new. I got myself the Toon Chaos Booster Box as well as the 2020 Megaton for Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's open up and see what we got. Oh, and as for this shirt, it has on the back the 26 annual Boy Great Wave competition of 1994. Now, let's get started. You may also notice that I have a brand new game mat. It's called the Great Wave of Kanagawa. I got this game mat through TCG Player and it's made by Ultra Pro. Meanwhile, regarding to tunes, I pretty much like the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh! was one of my first anime I've ever seen, aside from Pokemon and Hamtaro. And Pegasus was one of the first villains I ever encountered in anime. And mainly, villains such as Stromboli of Pinocchio, I fear more than the Coachman of the Donkey Transformation. And let's see, what other villains? Uh, oh yeah, the hacker from Cyber Chase. I also remember the other villains like the Evil Spirit and Dark Heart from the Care Bears franchise. I also remember growing up watching uh, other villains such as, well, Captain Hook. But let's get started on the Toon Chaos Booster Box first. It's seven cards in a pack, and there are about 24 of them. So 24 times 7 is 168. SpongeBob once said that it took him that amount of time to have fun with Sandy before she went on hibernation sleep. Remember the episode when he was high underneath Patrick's rock? Speaking of which, uh, let's get started on card set number one. For the Toon Chaos Booster Box, I was meant to review it uh, a little while ago, but something about it getting lost in the mail. Yeah, they sent the booster box with the with the Mega Tin as a result. We got ourselves Masked Hero Blast, Chaos Sorcerer. I remember owing multiple of these. Super Vice. Chaos Space, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. I remember that it, from what Simo, among other YouTubers, I believe Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything has also mentioned, I believe all those people in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community mentioned that this card was the reason there was a ban list. Oh, Stardust Dragon, an Envoy of Chaos. We're going to be opening up all of them. I also follow other YouTubers such as Lumios Trainer Zach, Mystic Umbreon, and Pokétips Mike. And that's because uh, I respect them for loving Pokémon as much as I do. And for kids or not, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is still Yu-Gi-Oh! Same can be said for Pokémon. Of course, uh, I follow the Japanese version of Yu-Gi-Oh! V Reigns. Binge watch no less than 80 episodes as of this video. I remember this one. This was in the promo, I think, for Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution on the Nintendo Switch. Pro Glio. Dark Flare Dragon. Cyframe Driver. Eternal Chaos. Cyanet Codet. Dwarf Star Dragon Plant Planeter and Starly Road. I remember having one from the early days, like Stardust Overdrive, I think, of Starlight Road. Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. Ah, Cyframe Gear Gamma. It might come useful having, given the fact that I recently got uh, invoked cards. It might be very, very useful indeed. Gemini Ablation. Sublimation Knight. Cyanet Codec. 
Dwarf Star Dragon Planeter and another Starlight Road. Yeah, recently I went on TCG Player and decided to invest into uh, Invoked Dogmatica Shadow deck. I already have the Shadow cards and most of the Invoked cards as of this video. After the remaining cards I get from the Invoked uh, group are finished, I'm going to go after Dogmatica. Given that I already have uh, Dogmatica Encounter, Dogmatica Theo, and Dogmatica Punishment. At least one of each. Well, two of Punishment, but still. Keeper of Dragon Magic. Gear Breed. It's a continuous spell. Curse of Dragonfire. Toon Terror. As I mentioned, Toons are one of my favorites uh, growing up. True King Lithosagem the Disaster. Mask Hero Goka. And Black Luster Soldier, Sacred Soldier. My only grievance for Lumiel's Trainer Zack is that he isn't entirely fond of Team Rocket. Such as uh, whenever they're around, uh, he groaned. If I remember correctly, he did review the recent theme song to the Japanese version of Pokemon, he said, ugh. But I digress. It's like everyone has their own opinion. Just like how I found out that Fam Strider isn't fond of Scooby-Doo or Ed and A and Kids Next Door, or even the Smurfs. But I digress. It's their opinion. It's something that I like, yet not everyone else is fond of. I mean, I'm a fan of Fortnite, but not everyone is. I know this for a fact, but that's fine. Masked Hero Dian, Dian, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Crossover, Chaos Valkyria, another True King, a Masked Hero Goka again, and another Black Luster Soldier, Sacred Soldier. If I remember correctly, when I did my last booster box opening, which is about 40 minutes, it took about, uh, Six hours to export on Shotcut into an MP4. And then after that, uh, I took another two plus hours to upload to YouTube. Let's hope that it won't be a big deal soon because, well, I have free time at the time I'm making this video. But here's Light Pulsar Dragon, Supervise, another Chaos Sorcerer, Fright for Meister, Pot of Desires. Number 68, Santa Fond, the Sky Prison, and Sangan. If I remember correctly, the rarity is collector's rare, I think. And a lot of these cards are worth a lot of value. I'll have my little cheat sheet that I, that's how I wrote down uh, what the prices were as of June. Uh, when I opened up the booster boxes. That's how I found out how valuable Link Cross and uh, Access Code Talker were. Another Prog Leo, a Dark Flare Dragon, Cyframe Driver, two Narby Lady, Pod Desires, another number 68, and a Sangan. When I first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I played the Pendulum deck of Legendary Dragon in December. Unfortunately, playing it was not the best idea, because I was pretty much defeated easily. So what I did was invest in a Danger Dark World, since I got the Dark World structure deck already. Went after Danger cards and succeeded when someone helped me rebuild my deck tenfold. Keeper of Dragon Magic, another Gear Breed, Curse of Dragonfire, Infernoble Knight Roland, Chaos Zone Field Spell, Code Generator, and Mask Hero Vapor.
We got another Light Pulsar Dragon, another Supervised Chaos Sorcerer, Masked Hero Acid, which I also remember having. Chaos Ever Dragon Envoy at the end. Oh, my Dragon of the Swamp! It has similar effects to the King of the Swamp regarding the Fusion Summon. If I remember correctly, your opponent cannot target this card or monsters on the field with the same attribute as this card with card effects. Once per turn, you can declare one attribute. This card becomes that attribute until the end of the turn. So, pretty much if I declare dark attribute, your opponent cannot target the dark attributes on the field with the same attribute if I say that. Then there's also Toon World. Not gonna lie. I was a little shocked when I first saw that Toon Kingdom was 40 bucks on TCG Player, given how valuable it is. You know that Speed Duel Yu-Gi-Oh set for Yu-Gi-Oh and Pegasus? Well, I got it all right. So I can play it uh, with uh, Pegasus' deck. We got Masked Hero Blast, Witch of the Black Forest, Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, Fluffle Angel, Envoy of Chaos, Stardust Dragon, and Dwarf Star Dragon Planeter. On the next side, that's uh, this is second to last on the first side. Gemini Oblation, Oblation, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Evening Twilight, Proglio, Sublimation, Sublimation Knight, Sinacodec, True King again, and another Starlight Road. Starlight Road. So pretty much my Danger Dark World deck is my main deck. My backup deck is a Salomon Great deck. And Invoked Shadow Dogmatica would be my third backup deck. Well, my third deck in general and second backup. Dark Flare Dragon, Masked Hero, Dian Dian, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Valkyrie, Sigrun, Sigrun. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing. Black Luster Soldier, Sacred Soldier, Mask Hero Goka, and Pa Desires. So let's get started on the next batch. Regarding to the booster box, I thought it's amazing how, uh, there is a new rarity called Collector's Rare. Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Mask Hero Diane, Light Pulsar Dragon, Fright for Meister again, Pod's Desires, True King, and number 68. A Masked Hero Blast, Chaos Sorcerer, Supervised, Super Magic Sword of Raptinus, Masked Hero Goka, Chaos Zone, and Sangin. While playing with uh, Danger Dark World in Locals, while I got the help of a friend who rebuilt my deck tenfold, I pretty much uh, routed up all 3,000 Yu-Gi-Oh cards I had since 2010. When I rebuilt the deck tenfold, uh, I gave some of them away. Like, I would say up to 30 cards at the time. Up to 30. I remember one guy asking for Scarlight, uh, Scar Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. You know, the Bane card that is worth a dollar. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane, I think. And the minute I showed him the card, he said, Bane! And then he paid me a dollar for it. True story. Curse of Dragonfire, Gear Breed, Keeper of Dragon Magic, 
Number 75, Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. Mask Hero Goka, Chaoso, and Sangin. Another Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. Oh, another Cyframe Gear Gamma. Now, this is going to be very valuable in the meta decks. Gemini Ablation, Valkyrie Sigrun, Mask Hero Vapor, Code Jarrier, and Toon World. Why did I choose Dogmatica and Shadow and Invoked over Adamantipair and Eldritch, which I heard recently is are two of the powerful decks? Price. I mean, am I willing to pay for a $1,800 Eldritch deck? No. But we got another Cyframe Driver, a Witch of the Black Forest, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Evening Ti Twilight, Magician of Hope. I think this is Collector's Rare as well. Mask Hero Vapor, Code Generator, another Tomb World. So yeah, my favorite game as of recent is Fortnite. Not gonna lie, I've been playing heavily since 2019 and September. And between then and now, at the time of making this video, I've won 26 times. Most of them was uh, throughout the winter of 2019 and 2020. Mask Hero Dian. Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning, Crossover, Evocator S. Eve Q. Eve Q. Whatever. Chaos, Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End, Stardust Dragon, Envoy of Chaos. The highest score I had in levels for Fortnite. I uh, was around 259 and above, like anywhere between that and 280. Like I couldn't get past 300, which is a requirement for a banana spy character. I wasn't that fully good to begin with, but hey, what can I do? And no, replacing the Harry Potter poster has nothing to do with recent events. I just wanted a fresh change. Everyone wants a fresh change. It's 2020. Masked Hero Blast, Witch of the Black Forest, Supervised, Sublimation Knight, Stardust Dragon, and Voy of Chaos, and Tomb World. Yeah, this summer was pretty much a hollow victory for everyone. It's a hollow victory for me because, well, I got the cards I desire, but there's not that many tournaments. outside of the digital ones, you know, online. But I don't really have time to do it online. I'd rather wait until uh, the locals that I go to open up before I go back. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And that's how I mean it. Another Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Mask Hero Diane, Light Pulsar Dragon, Immortal Phoenix Gear Fiend, Gear Freak. Chaos Ever Dragon, Dwarf Star Dragon Planter, and Starlight Road. Oh, and guess what I also forgot to mention? I caught my very first fish this summer. Yeah, I went to a uh, lake area, and then I... I was holding my fishing pole over my arm like a person would hold their rifle. And I felt a tug, and I pulled in a 13-inch sheep's head fish. It was my very first catch. A Chaos Sorcerer, Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, Gemini Ablation, Micro Coder. I remember getting this in the Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution Nintendo Switch uh, container. K 
Chaos Emperor drank again, Dwarf drank again, again, and Starlight Row again. I'm on the last few. Another Curse of Dragonfire, a Gear Breed, a Keeper of Dragon Magic, Toon Harbulae, Sinaconet, Mud Dragon of the Swamp, Black Luster Soldier, Sacred Soldier. Second to last one in the box. So what am I going to do with the box? Eh, maybe some sort of storage, like Lego minifigures or even uh, storing uh, something small like dice or coins. A third scythe. I believe this is my third scythe, Rain Gear Gamma. But there's also Dark Flare Dragon, Prog Leo, Valkyrie Sigrin again. Another Sina Codec, another Mud Dragon, and a Black Luster Soldier, Sacred Soldier. Last one. Am I thrilled of the situation where we're at? Not exactly. Where no one's playing Yu-Gi-Oh, that is. But, what the hey, it could have been a lot worse. But, what do I know? It could have been a lot worse. But let's move past that. Hopefully in the next year or so we can play in person. We all would. There's always hope. Cyframe Driver, Witch of the Black Forest. Another Black Cluster Soldier. Envoy of the Evening Twilight. Magician of Hope. Pa Desires. True King. Again, and the number 68. Now, let's open up the Mega Tin of 2020. So, regarding to the 2020 Mega Tin, I heard that from Simo that you would probably have a, a random chance of encountering a Red Eyes Black Dragoon. You know, the fusion between uh, Dark Magician and Red Eyes Black Dragon. And that's because it's not included in, say, uh, in a separate uh, box, like separate uh, plastic set, like it's all three uh, mega packs. But look at the cover; it's just like how you would see the Yugi versus Kaiba. But let's open up the cards. Eighteen cards per pack, so we're going to be seeing a lot of cards in general. Extra Hero Cross Crusader, Marin Says Wonderheart, World Legacy Cliffhanger, Marin Says Snow, Summer Grey Paro, Glare Rejection, Time Thief Winder, Winder, Gallant Granite, Wind, uh, Wind Charmer Verdant, Ah! Red Eyes Dark Dragoon! So this is a lucky chance of acquiring. From what I heard, people are probably going after this like wild uh, dogs on a, on a hunting kill. In other words, they're going to go after cards like these. It's very useful. Spirit Sculptor, Witchcrafter Draping, Tyrant Farm, Xyz Slide Dolphin, Unchained Twins Rakia, Marissa Sea Star and Tanya Spirit Sithana. Shithana. Another Valkyrie card, Valkyrie Fun Fiti. I can't pronounce it. Sama Great Wolvie, Marissa's Bow Ocean. Glyer Beast Charge, Dino Wrestler Valionix, Glyer Beast Combat, Dances with Beasts, Beach Raptor, Trickstar Coral Bane, Witch's Strike, Dirge of the Lost Dragon, Subterra Guru, Heita the 
Fire Charmer Ablaze, Glyre Beast United, Glyre Naumachia, Naumachia, Dial Wrestler Chimera T Rex. I remember seeing the guy who used Goki cards use Dial Wrestler uh, T Rex in uh, in Yu Gi Oh V Reign Season Two. I remember this one. Guardian, Gar Dragon Cataclysm and Crusher Run. Last set of the cards. So pretty much this uh, box will be used for display once everything's said and done. Dino Wrestler Marshall and Kylo, Kylo, Ren Ryu, Rising Fire, Glyre Beast, Adorix, Neo Space G Connector, Marinsus Current, Infinite Track Trencher, Valkyrie, Valkyrie Irda, Magicalized Fusion, Fusion Summon 1 Spellcaster Fusion Monster from your extra deck by banishing Fusion Materials list on from your field or graveyard. Only once per turn. Infinite Track Goliath. Glyer Beast Domatianus. White Howling. Guard Dragon Core Awakening. Fist of the Unrivaled Tenny. Counter Trap. Danger Feats of Strength. I believe this is my third danger card of this particular card. Yeah, as I mentioned, I have no less than two of each danger, minus Danger Jackalope, Nessie, and Chutunoko, because they are on the limited list. Nessie, Jackalope, and Chutunoko. So what choice do I have uh, but to uh, resort to that? But there is... a. Uh, at least two of Danger Feats of Strength on hand. BES Blaster Cannon Core. Sound of Great Transcendence. And Dino Wrestler as Scrim Mon Medici. And I do, in fact, use Pinker Tops and Nibiru the Primal Being uh, in my Danger Dark World deck, considering that I also got, by lucky chance, the the Nibiru token when I first actually played Yu-Gi-Oh with the M Pendulum deck. And when I was and when I rebuilt my deck tenfold, it was pretty simple to use the Danger Dark World deck with the other add bonuses of the Kaiju cards. Uh, I had the water one, Gaimechil. Gaimechil. And I also remember having uh uh, Pinker Tops and Nibiru in my deck. Of course, uh, part of the reason I got the Invoked cards is because, uh, if I can't beat them, join them. But, that wraps up my video. But from what I heard, the next subscription box for Nickelodeon is our Space Themed. So prepare for trouble, and make it double. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.